here is Drake. Well, sort of. Anyhow, um, I actually recorded this earlier for October 22nd, and I just realized there is no audio for some reason. So I fixed that by readjusting the settings because that's one thing most video bloggers should know at least is how to change audio settings. Um, I think I've got too many audio devices in here so that's probably why. I'm not sure why it chose Customize Advanced Sound Options. Huh, interesting. Should just disable all the devices I'm not using. Um, they show up as disabled, but they end up just floating around, and it's a Windows problem, it's a Mac problem, whatever the case is. It's actually a user problem because you bought a tool, which is the PC, and you should probably know how it works before you use it. Um, but anyhow, this is the uh, second time recording this tonight, so there's a couple things that gone on. Um, I have a new prioritize in my life, that's the reason why um, I'm trying to real and do stuff. I have actually did a lot of work on storage today so I managed to move 75 percent of my main storage including some of the excess stock so the more stuff clears out the better it is for me but I can't guarantee it till next month because the cost of storage went up so and I know it won't go up again they're pretty nice about now giving at least one month's notice to two months notice so I knew it was gonna go up for about a month ago and I had a little bit of a discount this year too they gave me some discounts for that uh, for because I bought a second storage and they go well, we'll just apply the discount to the first one because I wasn't sure how long I was going to have it. Well, with all the vacations and things that went on and and very few vacation dates and focused on work, I managed to kind of not use the other storage and decided that it might be a little trouble. So tomorrow, first thing I got to do is get there and try to separate some stuff out and separate some more stuff out tonight. Um, I've got a few things I'm going to try to get rid of, some computer chassis. I love big cases like this one over here, but I don't know if I have room for it. I've got another chassis at the house that I'm debating. It's a Dell, so it's got the weird wiring. That doesn't mean it works the same as any electrical wiring. You just got to find the pinouts. Once you find the Elucid pinouts on the web, you can make a custom cable, hook it up to a regular chassis, and no one will notice the difference. Actually, the best thing to do is to get a pin harness and then wire it, solder it to that so you have a professionally looking harness. But because I do have a working machine at home that is running DVR and video, I'm just going to leave it that way. I'm debating on upgrading it to something better, but if the machine sells, I'd rather take the cash value for that machine and go get other parts. I need to fix other things, which is more important right now. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to actually keep um stay in california i could maybe another year i've been told recession is pushed off by another year i was hoping for a recession it's something that we need right now because a recession would force people out of the job and force people to think much differently to think in survival mode rather than think in appreciation mode so i'm kind of annoyed about that but that's okay so i've got many things to do with Drake Toys isn't as popular. It could be people without money. They're honest people. I mean, I do everything using PayPal as electronic trans as transaction, so I lose a good percentage. But at the same time, they can complain all day. And one of them did. And I'm like, dude, I sent you all the carrier information, tracking. So I sent the tracking number almost immediately. And okay, well, which carrier is it? I told you it's US. Oh, I found it. You couldn't read? This is, I, am I realizing people out there are really not, I mean, okay, fine, you're just like me, I don't read the entire paragraph to later, so that's like book reading, but not true reading. So the user did figure it out, which I'm glad, but just as a safety precaution, since the tracking numbers did show up delivered on Saturday, lucky them that it was only about one or two day delivery, I went ahead and copied the delivery information to PayPal just to be sure there's a chargeback or anything filed, that way there's no issues, whatever, because you know what? I'm not lying, but I'm also not playing around. So I I like to make sure people get what they want and I get what I want. I get a little extra labor added in to move stuff around. And, you know, I should get some money for that. Just like you hire someone to go work on your doors and do carpentry work and it costs you money unless you know a friend. But even if you know a friend, he's also going to expect some stuff in return. 
I have a problem with Sai. Sai is the other issue that I, he's a great guy, and he's a Jewish guy, and he's pro-Israel, but at the same time, I'm starting to notice, like, you give me a USB cable, it's completely shitty, okay, fine. Um, you know, I can use stuff that I can use, but if you're going to buy new stuff to impress, and then say, here's the old stuff, I can't figure out how to make it work, and then I make it work, and then they're like looking at me like this is I just use whatever I can my car is barely working somewhat I could get the stuff fixed but I found a workaround so I'm just gonna use the workaround for now instead of spending the money so you work hard you play harder but you spend money yeah you're telling me how uh, you're uh, and the same group of people aren't complaining about Bidenomics but that's another story altogether because when someone has told me that fringe benefits are fringe benefits and where's my private office? Where's the reason to come to the office these days? Very limited. So, yeah. So now I'm just trying to focus on catching up. And I wish I don't sell some stuff. But there is a few things I'm just going to have to if sales aren't slow this week. Because I'm looking at my monthly income and stuff like that. And since I'm not able to expense stuff anymore and anything's to change in the legal system, I guess. So I have to figure out a workaround to keep moving forward. So if I had a place now, it wouldn't be a problem. I'd use that money. But a mobile home park, I don't even know. I guess it was 700 a month for the rental. And everyone's telling me they've never found a price that low. And I says, because I had to cut a deal with them in a pile of trash. And that's what gave me the low price, even though they'd probably go up by 5% a year. But whatever, this, even the city scared me that. You're fixing your house. We're going to charge you an improvement tax. Improvement tax for improving my own property. Okay, improvement from a pile of trash to something livable is not an improvement. You should be paying me. But no, California has gone really the other way for people who are truly trying to do the right thing. For people who aren't doing the right thing, that feels good. So with all this crap going on, I'm hearing, and you own nothing, I will own something. Rest my case. And over those fucking illegals' dead bodies.